Are we late? We're late. We're not we're late. like a Japanese train. We're always <laughs> late. We're, we're always, always late. late. We're, we're Brits. <laughs> we're terrible. We're, Brits. we're always late. Locke is almost kind of we're technically just... a Brit now. Wait, we're live. Hey. Oh, we're live. Hey. Oh. hey! Look at us all right here. Here we go. Hey, Yay. I'm on TV. I'm on. Look, Mum. I'm on famous. Oh. oh. Selby! Hey! <laughs> so, look, okay, special live today. I told you guys mm. it was going to be a special one. I have special, special, special guests, my old friends, Kai and Locke. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So, it's good to see you all. It's great to have them here. I don't know why they're here, they won't tell me, but they're here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, uh, I came just, to visit you. They came to visit yeah. me. Yeah, I just have some, some spare old, time. Um, mild age before the COVID, so I have to use it. So, <laughs> so we've got to use the miles, yeah, otherwise they'll just take them away, won't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's absolutely awful. State oh. of the world. Right, everybody, welcome. How are you doing? Please make sure you ask questions. Come on, you know, the drill. It's time to tell us where you're from and how you're doing. If you've got questions for myself, if you've got questions for Kai and Locke, absolutely chuck them in there. Make sure you uh, tell us what's going on. So, guys, how have you been? We have been very good. Yeah, we're so excited to be back in Tokyo because I love Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. We don't love Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. We don't love Japan. <laughs> yeah, it's opened up finally. Back, and uh, it's just great to just see everything, taste everything, yeah. food. Yeah. yeah, yeah, edible stuff. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, just not uh, like seats then. No, uh, 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 that's only London. Yeah, that's London. a London thing. I, I like the London. <laughs> I, I don't like the bit bike seats here. The Boris bikes, they taste good. <laughs> Especially <laughs> the day after a, a world <laughs> naked bike riding day. Ooh, mm. Fresh. Fresh fish. <laughs> yeah. I prefer the, the fresh fish here <laughs> in the restaurants. This Bill and Gates fish market. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, this is going to degenerate into something absolutely awful unless we're very careful. So, let's, let's, let's. How have you been, Locke? Yeah, good. I moved to UK last April. Yep. Yeah. Uh, love it. Yeah? Where are you living in? Uh, Sorry. 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 Sounds sorry. Like, it sounds like an apology. Sorry. 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 <laughs> I, live I, still, sorry. I, still, I still have to get, get a hang on how to pronounce it. So. So, just say sorry. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, sorry. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm from Oxford, so it's... Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're the, the interesting part of Oxford. Yes, I'm. I'm not the lovely part of Oxford. No. I'm more of the uh, yeah, the, the one they would build a brick wall up. Yes. So um, <laughs> it's not the, that was very up, uh, middle class. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I, I I come from a village which is right next to the same town as Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. And Gordon Ramsay is his, his state is so rough. Why don't you swear as much as him? I I do. Oh, okay. I just don't oh, generally do it on here. <laughs> yeah. I do. We try and keep it clean for the videos because apparently you've got to keep it kid safe or something. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of kids getting into film. Yeah, yeah, young'uns. All these young people getting into film. Have we had any questions? I'm sure we have, and we've missed all of them because we've just been, yeah, uh, just been uh, talking. What watches are you all wearing? What watches you all wearing? Oh, okay. Apple Watch. <laughs> boring. Apple Watch. I'm, boring. <laughs> I'm wearing an Explorer. Oh, which version? The, the latest one, the latest explorer, yeah. very it's, nice. It's just great. I used to it's, think this is. I used to think it's boring because it, it it doesn't do anything, and it's it's no, it's, it's lovely. But it's because it's so understated. It's a simple dial. It's it's the right size. It's perfect. I very much want one. I'm wearing the Speedmaster as usual um, because I don't wear my Rolexes that so much anymore because I'm scared to. Really? Yeah, some it's of it, it's yeah. not London. Yeah, well, true that. Not gonna be... Yeah, how is it with that? Is it's it? Up. I mean, can you wear that walking around in London? Uh, well, I do. But Pete, I remember getting a comment on a, a video saying, you should wear that in London, you're gonna get stabbed. London is so stabby. It's so, <laughs> so, so stabby. <laughs> stabby. Yeah, but, I'm stabbing but, all the time, you know? Yeah, I, I do kind of tend to wear them less now yeah. in London. Mm. But, um, yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah. Watch check. So, any any others we missed? Oh, hello Florida. Hello Orlando. Let's see. Call out. I'm going to do some shout outs to people. Love you, Kai. Um, yeah, been a fan since the old DR days. Yeah. Is his surname Fen? Yeah. <laughs> Josh Grographer. Uh, <laughs> how have you all been in the same place? How often have you all been in the same? A few times actually. Last time was Photo right? Yeah, it was Photo yeah. That was that was an interesting time. 
they, they were fun times actually. Yeah, that spoke, it's just, I mean, it's not going to happen again, but like just that vibe of everybody yeah. getting together. And yeah, and everybody with the same sort of mission, the same purpose, you know, that was a lot of fun. That was a good time. Uh, but that was the last time we were all together, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. When are you all coming to end NYC? Right, well, if you invite us all to NYC and you pray for it, I'm sure we'll all come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm weeping, this is epic. That's what Don't worry. Yeah. Get to issue. Don't worry. Hello from Indonesia, been following you since the older days. New York in the house. I remember when you painted an M9 pink. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Can you do it again today well, okay. with one of the cameras on the table? Uh, yeah, this is nice. You are not touching my MP. That's not happening. Well, you shouldn't have said that because then it's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> Blinking up as well. This will be a first. I mean, this is quite a special camera, but yeah, pink paint edition. So we get Lenny Kravitz edition. So we actually made a pink paint camera. We made a Sakura edition. Did you see that one? And then there's a yellow yeah, one. That, that was there. actually really pretty. We made the picture as well. Did you get you? No, it's pretty. I could do a better job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You get to take one camera from Dave Lewis's roll eye collection. Which one are you taking? Oh, quite good. I, I was going to buy his uh, his uh, really, really uh, the T, the grey one. Yeah, because I, I just think it's really cool. A baby roll eye. It's, it's not. Um, no, it's the. the, oh, the uh, is it Rolex? Yeah, three point five T. Yeah, and right. it's grey one, and that's, that's quite I, rare. Yeah, yeah, and I was going to swap a lens with him. No, and I, I kind of wish I, I did. Because I still think it's really cool. It's not necessarily the best roly, but um, it Go just looks it. nice. Yeah, maybe it should. It's yeah. lovely. Okay. Oh, good question, actually. What are Kai and Locke's favourite film cameras? Yeah. Well, it's always changing. I brought <laughs> my film cameras today. Well, I cut you got. Um, I've I've gone with a celeb crowd. <laughs> Hello, Kendall. Hello, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. One of them. One of them. The Jen. Yeah. I've got a T two. <laughs> just just because uh, these are so hot right now, aren't they? Ooh, I'm not taking that call right now. <laughs> <laughs> the T2, um, you know, it's just great. Yeah, it's funny that it's, it's been picked up by celebs. It's good looking. It's a brilliant camera. Once you get used to its foibles, yeah, you know, um, and it does have the back focus thing and stuff, right? You know, but it, it, yeah, it might be used one for absolutely ages. Yeah. I'm going one when it was really cheap as well. Yeah, and they're super expensive though. They are really it's expensive now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, this sorry. Is actually, um, no, this actually never happens. Uh, <laughs> Do you? Oh, really? <laughs> Stop. And it's the same guy. It's the same guy. He's calling because. It's me. Yeah. Oh, and it's it's it. That was Miyazaki. Yeah. Oh, right. The, is it the guy who oh, makes the cartoons? He's the guy who does the lenses. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the Miyazaki lenses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, um, so this is your current, current, uh, one of your current. Yeah, one of my current ones. I mean, I still love the Ricoh GR. Yeah. It's so small and compact. But I was, I was thinking of either this or the T. I was nothing private. Let's, <laughs> let's talk a bit louder. So, in case it's in don't worry. He's about eighty years old. He just shouts down the phone. He's lovely. But it's very sweet. Yeah. Sweet old. Okay. I, I was thinking about this or the T3. Yeah, T3 seems a bit. I've got expensive. a T3 before. Yeah, I've got you? when I was 25 or something. Wow, oh, man. Born. I, I, bought, I bought it new, and then later I sold it for a little bit higher. Yeah. Oh, I, that's kind of when my when they when they. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I sold it when they just did some continuing. Oh right, oh, yeah. You have so held on even to it. then, when they just continued them, you can still pick them up for about sixty thousand yen new right here. Yeah. And now they're three hundred thousand, at least. I should keep it. I should keep it. Single tooth and double tooth. Yes, yeah, so there's a single tooth and a double tooth. The single tooth was the first version, and um, they found that with one tooth it would just mm. shear off because of the strain. Yeah. So they started doing the double tooth version, and there was a deal back then when contacts were still servicing that you could send your single tooth in, and they would replace it with a double tooth spool for free, which I did with a whole bunch of cameras. Um, but now there is actually another person doing that who's 3D printing these spools so that you can oh, replace them. Okay. Them. Yeah. Dedication. Because so <laughs> the double tooth has a bit of a premium on the. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's the um, one people want. And the other one I've got is the TX1, which I think is the better X Pen. It's You're not an X Pen oh, by name. Oh, oh, oh. But it is. Uh, I mean, they made they made it for X Pen, didn't they? That yes. Would be for Hasselblad. Yes. Lactose tolerance. 
<laughs> what? what? <laughs> this is, yeah, this is one of my favourite. What have we got in here? I have got some, um, I think it's a Troy X. Right. Yeah. It, oh, it, one of my favourites of all time. I absolutely love this camera. I mean, uh, I I bought so many of them. I kept them for a little while and then I go, oh no, I can't justify it and I sell it. And then I thought, maybe I should keep one. And now I look at the prices and go, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. You know, it's just too good look. It's so good looking. It's unbelievable. It really feels good. And the binder is spectacular. If you took it, I mean, if you took away the Fuji Fujifilm badge, you could think that's some premium. Uh, yeah, you could think that's a hassle badge. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because yeah, it looks better. It is better finished than the, the hassle badge. It, it, it actually looks better. I think. Yeah, yeah. I love the titanium on it. Yeah. Let's see. Um, got any questions here? Have we missed? Any? Uh, we've missed loads, haven't we? Yeah. Um, one of, out of the cameras on the table, which one would y'all prefer to shoot? Well, that's <laughs> what we actually did, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? We so. did. We did a. What was it? Just pick your favorite camera for yeah. your your stash. Yeah. So I asked Lark and Kai to pick a favorite camera from my stash, including cameras I've got to and my personal collection. And they pick one each, I think, mm, yeah. and um, they're going to tell us why they like it. So please, after you guys, this one, <laughs> oh, the Fujifilm GF670. Oh, <laughs> so Locke, liked, why do you like the GF670 Locke? This is quite new, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I, I like it because at that time Fuji film already releasing the X100 yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it made me think like, oh, they really know what kind of toy photographers want to play with. And yes. this, this is brilliant. I mean, when they make a 120 camera in 2000 something again. Yeah. Yeah, they, they kept on making them up until about, I think it was five or six years ago. They stopped. Maybe less. 2000. 14 or 15, I'm not sure, it was when they stopped making them. Yeah. So it actually had quite a short life. Yeah. But yeah. they still serviced them. Um, in fact, that one was serviced by um, mm. Fujifilm when we got it. So, mm -hmm. Because a common issue is, and this is the biggest issue which people have with this camera, is that they'll forget to put it to infinity. Oh, yeah. Before oh. they close it. <laughs> oh, 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 well, we need servicing again. Well, I didn't force it. I right. didn't force yeah. it. <laughs> but, and, and then they will force it. And there's yeah. these two little levers here. And they bend, yeah, oh no. and that's it. Once that happens, you can't close it, and you can't open it, you can't lock it, and it doesn't sit vertical to the film plane. So, apart from that, it's brilliant. I mean, six by seven and six by six. Yeah, find is amazing. We did a video about this. I think it's the same video. I I chose this, and then you pick the the yeah. That was a film pen, wasn't it? something. Well, that was a long time ago. Well, no, no, you you picked the. Um... No, it wasn't this, was it? It is. Is it? It really? is. How else I, I know about this camera? And I, I shoot <laughs> about. I thought that was this before in, this. I shoot this in uh, Mong Kong. Yeah. One of the videos. Yeah, I remember that video. Yeah, I remember watching that because that was with Cecilia. Yeah, it was like um, I, had, I had to buy bigger than full frame yeah. or something. Yeah, some something like that. Yeah. So I, I at the end I said this is a this is the best Christmas uh, gift for a photographer that who have everything. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I can't really disagree with you. It's got pretty much what you need as a medium format. I mean, so. Yeah. It's so cool. Right. Your turn. Yeah. I I love these. Uh, <laughs> Quirky film <laughs> compacts. He's got the eye no break it. He's if, got the eyeborg. I mean, I was thinking of either these uh, these tough cameras, the these Gemba Kantokus. I don't drop things, but I just <laughs> no, never, never. <laughs> just in case I do. These are, these are, they are indestructible. I mean, until you showed, I, I never knew about these cameras, yeah. and as soon as I saw it, I started searching for it because, and they're quite affordable yeah they're very affordable um, they really are rock solid and the best thing about them is that they actually have a fantastic lens on them the, the lens the 28 and the 35 and the zoom lens are all very very good lenses so they actually really good compact cameras as it goes and you can take them snowboarding you can take them you know splashing around the pool and I like it yeah but I, I picked this one <laughs> <laughs> just good side like who who makes 
cameras like that that these days. No, but there's no creativity. Conica really. didn't even. But I don't think they even wanted to make. But this is too creative, isn't it? It's cool. <laughs> it, like now it's just oh let's let's make the focus better. Let's oh let's raise the resolution a bit. Oh I love I love how extends that. Love that sound. And look at all the fun. Look at how great. complicated it is. It's great. <laughs> you feel like a pilot. Yeah. <laughs> You feel like a, yeah, not a pie, I'd say like a tie like fighter. A tie fighter, yes. yes. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's just everything about it is is wrong. But that's what makes it so right. It looks like, well, what, what's the front? I mean, it's yeah, Darth Vader, obviously, but uh, you know, it's a bit like a It's motorcycle. ergonomically horrible. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's almost like it's got two grips. Yeah. Like, Holding like that. You know, like the Beastie Boys music video, like the tourist yeah, yeah. takes photos like that. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's it's a really interesting camera. It's a pain in the arse to use, but it does take actually really good pictures. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really nice. Out of the cameras in front of you guys, which has the best bokeh boards? Bokeh? I, do I say it properly? Or is it bokehs? Bo bokeh! Yeah, bokeh. Bokeh, but which one has the coolest bokeh balls? Is that, I think that's your film. Is that so that, I was going to say yeah. that looks like my film. Yeah. Hey. Yay! <laughs> Just in case you haven't bought any of my film, please buy some of my film, please. Please, thank Link you. Somewhere. Links and stuff. <laughs> ah, for, right, question here. For Kai, what is your favourite Fuji stock for colour film? Well, I, I mean, from, I always shot a lot of landscape stuff. I, I love Velvia. Velvia. It's just the most glorious thing. Yeah, you get the film back and stuff. The colours. Yeah, yeah. It, that that's what makes you just want to keep shooting film. Yeah, yeah. It's it's something else, isn't it? That that feeling when you look at those yeah. those positives. That... And I like the um oh. the recip uh, that failure reciprocity. Oh, with re reciprocity. Yes, failure, right? something yeah. like that. Yeah. Some failure. The light fall off rate. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, and it just looks so yeah. special. Good question. What about you? What's your favourite film, Locke? Well, I don't know much. I, I when I <laughs> when I was an assistant to photographers, they yep. used Provia, so I used Provia. Provia, yeah. <laughs> I mean, actually, Provia is a really good one. I love Provia Fifty. It is really unforgiving. You've got to get it spot on. But when it does, it just shines. Mm. You know, you're just looking at those negatives or positives, like. Wow, but I, just, I can't believe I took this. Yeah. You know, it's so it's chrome. It's like, wow. but back then they used one twenty on this camera as well. Yeah. Oh. So this camera got like great big sound. Yeah. Kachonk. <laughs> yes. Lovely stuff. Hey, Coco Seven asks favorite MS Optics lens. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Do, do we have some here? We do actually. We've got several here. Um, I will leave you two to talk while I scoot off and grab some lenses. Let's, let's have a look at the questions. Oh, oh, what cameras are you on the hunt for while in Japan? I like that you used hunt <laughs> as Japan camera hunter. Um, not in the minute for me. Yeah. You've got enough cameras? I, th I think it's one of those <laughs> things where if I see it, I'll buy, I, I mean, I don't, I probably won't buy like it. I know I know some guy uh, who's in Japan at the minute who wants to buy like it. But I, I think it's more like these kind of quirky compacts. If I see something like that, yeah. I'll, just, I'll just get it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, best place to go as well, like uh, Fuji a camera in Nakano. That's this is right. where I picked one of these up. Okay. The first one we actually picked up for the video specifically. Yeah. Um, we were in Fuji and we just saw it on the shelf and went, we should make a video about that. Absolutely, five thousand yen, bam, done. Wow, wow. brilliant. Really? Yeah, yeah. And, and that was it. We were off, you know, off to the races. And we ended up making them our staff cameras because I bought one for my girl. I bought one. No, I didn't buy one for Jesse. Jesse stole his one. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, "I'm just having, I'm, I'm just having this one." I hope it's not from the camera shop. But All right, fair enough. Stole it. <laughs> he, he just he claimed one of the office cameras, um, and I ended up buying another one for myself and one for my son. You know, I think. So in answer to that question, I probably maybe I might even look for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's three versions, um, and you can get them in different colours too. So there's the, uh, the well, actually, there's more than three versions. There's four versions, I think. Um, there's the 35, the 28, and the zoom, and you can get them in orange and olive green and yes. blue, I think, as Fantastic. well. Fantastic. So there's a lot of choices. As for Miyazaki lenses, um, you guys don't know them that well, really, no. do you? Um, so I'd say. 
My favorite is probably the Aperqualia, the 28 millimeter, because it is it's so, it's so tiny. tiny. It's an F2 and it's 28 mil. Um, but he's actually discontinued these now because he's gonna bring out a new version uh, in the next few months. And I'm not gonna tell you any more about that, but just wait and see, because it'll be very, very interesting. But there is a new uh, Miyazaki lens out right now, which is a 36 millimeter. Okay. 1.3, which we are currently testing. Michael's got one on his camera, and we've been testing that out, and it's sold really well. It's an unusual focal length, 36. Yeah. Mm. You know, um, I guess some like of these lens, some lenses where they say it's 35 is probably slightly off. Well, so anyway, this is no. the thing, right? He actually, it's based on a lens he made previously, which was 35.8. Okay, right. Because a 35 is never actually 35, it's yeah. 35 point whatever, yeah. and that one was 35.8. And he had some of these lenses left over, and so he reworked the lens, and it's now a 36.2. So he's just okay. dropped, gone up by points, you know, but that has stepped it into the 36 territory. I love the honesty though. It's, it's like Pentax with the, oh, it actually is a 43. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, you might as well be clear about it, you yeah. know, so people know what they're getting. So at the moment, that's our favorite, but right. Oh my God, um, we've missed so much stuff. Okay, uh, best panoramic camera that's not the X-Pan. The Seagull? Yeah, the, mm, or the ber ber very wide. Or? I believe it would have to be one of those, like, Linhof or... Yeah, something like that. Those big boys. Uh, hello from Hong Kong. Ahoy from hey. Western Australia. Hong Kong in the house. Hey. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else? Have we missed loads? Sorry if we miss everything. We're doing our best. Roll eyes are cool and all, but will you admit that the C330 is a superior camera? I will, actually. Yes, I will because you can have interchangeable lenses and that's cool. That is cool, but I guess it's not always about, okay, technically it's the best. <laughs> if you like it, just enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I like the C330 more than I like the Rollite, but that's because, you know, that's the way I've shot. So, good afternoon, morning, evening. Kai, my man. Uh, anywhere I can, where? Any recommendations of where to get an SD card in Tokyo? Literally everywhere. The convenience stores sell them. I'm serious. <laughs> like, literally everywhere. There's a very famous SD card shop yeah. in Tokyo. Like, you can Is get them best? anywhere. I'm not joking. Convenience stores actually do sell them. And even up to like one terabyte and stuff. You know, <laughs> they won't be very good ones. If you want the good ones, go to Yodabashi. Mm. Yeah, Yodabashi. I think I'll, became, uh... I'll just use that as an excuse to go to Yodabashi. Yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Yoda Bashi's brilliant. Um, also, nice to meet. Nice meeting Kai on the plane. Oh, Mando, he met you on the plane. Apparently. Oh yes. Are you the the, the guy who uh, bought a Fuji? Yeah, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. We'll okay. see. Um, do you think the TX1's value holds true? Yes, it does. Because as long as they're still working, they're still valuable because it's such a great camera. Um, I think the price is a little bit high, but you know, supply and demand. There's not many of them left. People want them, so. Do, do, do you think, um, in terms of, say, if somebody is looking for that kind yeah. of camera, do they not know about that as much as the X Pan? Or, or do you think yeah, they so to... a lot of people don't really, they overlook the TX1. Mm. They want the X Pan, and I think that's a bit of a shame. And do you think there are people who, they if they do know about it, they yeah. overlook it because it's a Fujifilm and it doesn't say Hasselblad on it? Yes, in some cases, yes. I've had people where I've offered them a TX1, and they've said, no, it has to be Hasselblad. And I've had mm. to say, well, they don't sell Hasselblad in Japan, they never did because yeah. it was the booty territory. So. I mean, I was looking for an x before and it's so hard to find the, the first one anyway, with a, without the flaking. Some people like it, I think it looks beautiful. Yeah. So strange to see a wider shot of the office. Well, yeah, we, <laughs> we do actually have an office here, so thank you. Is the x worth it? Uh, more x more x -Pan. We just literally answered that question. Um, right. Um, Konica Gemba Kantoku. I love these guys' camera vids on YouTube. Oh, that's lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. The, uh, if you aren't following these two guys, by the way, you should be, because he's nearly got a million followers. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. please um, just come on. Some more people. Inch it up. Please. Just get it over and, you know, yeah, links, links I got, somewhere. I got two, two channels. No, two, two channels. Greedy. English wow. and Cantonese. Oh, even better. Yeah, go and follow, yeah, go and yeah. follow those. Um, 
and of course, you know, from Spotify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> we are trying. We don't release videos very often, though. The itch that has started to get Voigtlander Best 3, a gorgeous fold with a meter. Do you think it's better quality than the Fujika 645 that I have? Yes, of course. The Voigtlander Best 3 is one of these. It's this, mm. except it's the Voigtlander branded one. Fuji film, in fact, Fuji film didn't make them. Cosina made them for Fuji film and oh, for Voigtlander. Oh, oh. Casino, great. They the, they made the Zeiss ZM lenses. Yes, well. they do, and they made the Zeiss Icon camera. Yeah. Um, so that is essentially a Bessa three, which is a completely different camera from the six four five because it's a six by six and a six by seven. So yes, I think objectively it's a better camera than the Fuji Fujica GS six four five. But then again, it's like ten times the price or something. <laughs> you know, it's a lot more money. So. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's see which one is that. Okay, nice lad. The lads, yes, the lads. Please tell me that RZ has the 110 on it. Yes, it does. Yep, yep, yes, it does. Uh, will the three of you still shoot film for the next 10 years? Well, Lot, does he? Do you? I think so. Some uh, once in a while. Yeah, I, I will be. Yeah, I, if it's I available. Kind of, yeah, I still like shooting film. I think there was a phase where I, I just couldn't be bothered, but. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm joining the hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> right, are UV filters worth it? Yeah. I mean, protect your lens, right? I mean, um, I'm, I've got, I've got grief, uh, you know, dirt, dirty little grubby fingers, and I've got kids with grubby fingers. So, uh, <laughs> yes, UV filters are very useful. I don't bother. I never. Yeah, I don't bother. On my, on this, no. Uh, yes, there is one. Okay. Um, but uh, it depends. It depends yeah, on the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, we, that's not all. Yes, uh, that's no right or wrong. Yeah. Um, I just don't use them. <laughs> <laughs> I miss some of the digital rev people. What's Barry up to? Lady Garcia, Mark Barry. Chung. That must be Barry himself. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Barry. <laughs> His name's actually not Barry. No, he's um, yeah. Jeff he's from Liverpool, but we. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird because he keeps contacting us to do videos. He likes being in videos, but then he didn't like showing his face at them. Yeah, like, he used yeah. to like wearing some chrome mask. <laughs> and he would, he would do videos like half naked. He would, he, would, he would show his uh, man memories. <laughs> his man boobs. Like shaking, but yeah. you don't, 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 well, maybe that's why. Maybe, maybe like that's, showing what, yeah. that's why he covered his face. So he, he now married, got a kid, and still in Hong Kong working in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. He, did, he did work for Canon recently. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Canon Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna get fired then. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, let's see. If you only have one camera to own, what is it? Already got it. MP6. Already got it. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's just that's, that's hard. That's hard for these two because really? they they see way more cameras than me. Well, film or digital or doesn't matter. Any, any camera. Any camera. Well, um, at the moment, uh, Ricoh TR3X. Yeah. At the moment, I mean, because <laughs> I can take it with me yeah. all the time. I have it with me now. <laughs> mm, well, I'd, I'd, I'd say M5, even though I haven't got it here on the table. I've just, it's like a recent love affair with the M5. The M5? Because it looks so different. The the bastard son of Leica. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and then I, you know, got the adapter to put the, the battery in, and it's like, right, this is actually quite a good light meter. It's, it's kind of an old the light meter. The light meter is actually not bad in that yeah. thing. You can have the um, selenium cells replaced now as well. Right. Um, so that you can have a really accurate meter. Yeah. Um, if you've got the, the obviously, the conversion uh, battery adapter, so it, well, lowers the voltage then it, it's spot on it's a pretty damn good meter in there and it's a funny way is is it goes in front of the behind yeah, the lens there's not a swing on it swings yeah swings out of the way yeah it's fantastic it's very cool and it's just uh it it looks it's an ugly lichen yeah but that's why it's so good it's it's like the r8 this the, the um it's they call it the uh, hunchback of souls when it was oh, released. This. You know, because it was they considered it so ugly, but I don't think it's ugly. I think oh. it's I think it's beautiful. I think I'll probably look for one of these as well. I tell you what, it, I've I I was given this camera by somebody, somebody Very gave nice me the person. camera and I bought the lens for it. And I can't put it down. Mm. I've really enjoyed using it. The finder is fantastic. It's so intuitive, it's it's really a great camera to play with. It, uh, this is the ergonomics generation, right? So everything 
is exactly where you think it would be, as opposed to <laughs> this, <laughs> where nothing is where you think it should be. <laughs> should it, should it <laughs> down 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 here. Here. Oh. What, you use your middle finger to yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> no, really. Uh, but this is just so well, like everything's within reach, everything. It's yeah. lovely. Yeah, I totally recommend getting one of these if, you, if you're looking for a, a really bells and whistles. Yeah, SLR. I know, it's gorgeous. That's ugly. <laughs> gorgeous, <laughs> ugly but gorgeous. Ugly but gorgeous. Oh, I knocked over. Kai's film case. You I know, you, can, you could have one like this. Pink Enter. Yeah, so um, let's see, what else? Uh, what's a tough camera to get in Japan but easy elsewhere? I'd say pretty much anything Hasselblad, but especially the uh, x pans <laughs> Yeah, a lot of stuff um, that was made for the European market just you don't get to see, especially the collaborations, Fujifilm and Bess, so Voigtlander, things like that, you don't see them here. So, uh, uh, but make some Bokeh Bros special color JCH film cases. That's really difficult. Um, we could just make a t-shirt instead. <laughs> <laughs> that would be way easier. Um, yeah. We could have 8-bit, eight, eight versions. Yeah, yeah. 8-bit t-shirt or 8-bit film case. Yeah, 8-bit film case. 8-bit Bellamy is great. <laughs> They've seen 8-bit Bellamy. Yes, <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Favourite Leica lens? Well, I, I mean, I've got a Noctilux I don't know. on it. <laughs> You've got a Noctilux? Mm. It's not very useful, and, it's, and it's, like, it's the least practical lens ever. Yes, it's it's overly it's, heavy. It's like minimum focus, one meter. Yeah. And <laughs> you know, you take, I, I take it on holiday and oh, I take pictures with kids. Oh, where's this photo taken? I could be anywhere. Everything, literally, everything's out of focus. Yeah, it, it's, there's so much but, bokeh, we don't know where we are. <laughs> there we are, that's it. It's all about a bokeh. Yeah. It's all about a bokeh. It's actually a really... I, I can't deal with that lens. I just can't. Really? Yeah, I've I've had a few of them. I've had I've tried all of the versions of it. Yeah. yeah. And the the original one, the one point two, the aspherical was lovely. Mm. I could not justify keeping that. It was way too valuable. And it was the only one I actually really liked. The others, which I just found them top heavy, front heavy, mm. long focus yeah. throw. We mean the reason really shallow uh, depth of field. Aspherical, not too much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, the original lens. Oh, oh right, yeah, the one point two. I couldn't justify keeping. That. Yeah, it's yeah. too expensive. So I also um, I tested the uh, Canon 55, the SSC. Oh so yeah, yeah. Got a, and I, I, I think that might be a you know it's a it's, it's, a, it's a sharper it's a sharper lens. Those Canon SSC lenses are they? highly sought after. Yeah, yeah, they are cinematographers. Love them. Yeah. They're converting them. Yeah. Oh, no. So they're converting everything. Mamiya lenses, Pentax lenses, everything. They've got right. Olympus lenses, OMs. You know, shelves are empty because they're just taking everything they can find now. What do you think about that? I've got I mean, a bit of an issue with it. They're taking these old lenses which will never I be can, made I can, I, can, I can understand it, but why do they need to take all of them? Yeah. You know, right, right, completely set and then leave us alone. <laughs> you don't need to have all of them. <laughs> but they take all of them because they want to get quality control standards, so they'll take 10 of each one to make sure that they're right. all you know, within tolerances of one another. And it's like, come on, sell, sell the ones you don't use, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for answering my questions. Kai, love the book. Question for all of you. Is there still a love for the Rick original Ricoh GR Digital? If so, what did you like most about it? Yes, book, the book. Make sure you buy the book. 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 Yes. Ding. And we're going to get him to sign one of these, so we'll give this away at some point as well. Oh, which my really God. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, people lose their minds. So, yeah. Um, what do you think of original Rico GR? Digital. I loved it. Yeah. The original yeah. digital. Locke had that. Yeah, I had I it. Had that. Yeah. I, I started JCH with that camera. Oh, really? <laughs> so, uh, at the time, I didn't have a digital camera, and I, I wanted to buy one, and so everybody was saying, get this. Yeah. I, I, thought, I thought because it looks the most like a no, new camera. No, so I bought it and then I started JCH shortly after that and it was the only camera I had to use to take photos of gear. So they all came out really weird because you know, it's a super wide yeah. lens on there and it just didn't work. But it kick-started JCH for me. So I, I've got a lot of uh, fond memories of that mm -hmm. camera. And you can use a uh, triple A batteries in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was great. You could just go to the convenience store and keep it going. Yeah, because, because when I take it out now, the original uh, rechargeable battery probably not working. But I can yeah. put in yeah. triple A battery and it turns on. Yeah. And when you shoot raw, yeah. do you remember? Yeah. It takes like 10 seconds to save. Yeah. 
That's ages. Yeah. And sometimes it just wouldn't. It just wouldn't bother at all. And you'd be like, oh, okay. Get back and there'd be nothing on your yeah. card. So I, I just, once in a while, I, I took a RAW. I used to do, used to do yeah, JPEG. JPEG yeah. 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 This was before they went to APS-C. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. But they still had a 28 millimeter equivalent. Yeah. Uh, but I think it, it's great just because it's the OG yeah. GR Digital. Oh, also the AF is so bad. Oh. And it has to have a IR sensor yeah. for, for, for auto focusing. Yeah, yeah. It's a hybrid hybrid AF, but it's IR and contrast detect. <laughs> so it still doesn't help. But the answer is it's not a very good camera. Now. It's a terrible camera now, but but it, at back then it's so cool. It was. Yeah. You remember because the whole Dido Moriyama thing? Yeah. yeah. He was seen with it, <laughs> and that was it. Everybody. But, but also, what does he use now? He uses, I think he, last <laughs> time I saw him, he was like. like on a Panasonic. Oh, really? Yeah, he was shooting a Panasonic last time I saw him. Yeah. But and that, he didn't even yeah. know what it was. He was just shooting and then he yeah. would just chuck it to his assistant. Yeah. I'm like, you do with it. You know, that that was his thing. Yeah. yeah. But because back then, uh, we could see our digital, uh, the other digital camera are all silver and cyber shot. Mm. But that's just, a, just black. Yeah, yeah. Straight black. Look cool. It looked like the GR. The GR1. It looked, it had similar dimensions yeah. as well, mm. you know, and that was what made it cool. It was like, it's not much bigger than the original one. That's okay, yeah, I could deal. I like this. <laughs> I know so many people who have those, they're signed by Moriama. Yeah, across uh, the screen. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> on the screen, they just had it signed and then they put a sticker over. I actually saw Majonju had his film camera signed. He by. had that signed and I sold that for him. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he asked me to sell it for him, so I sold it for him. Yeah, um, and so there's the deal with him signing things actually. You can actually get it verified by Moriyama's office to say that it's a genuine really? signature from him. Yeah. Oh, they will wow. They will actually verify signatures. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. um, oh man, Kai's here. I got a chrome black Nikon F after watching his review. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you, Andrew. Let's see. Uh, I've. I've yeah, I live in no. I live in Japan, but no Yodabashi near here. Where do you live, huh? dude? What? Oh, you, he must live out in the sticks. Yeah, yeah, because they're, they're everywhere around here. Then. Hey guys, what do you think in five years in the future? Oh, five years in the future of new Chinese lenses manufacturers. Oh, like, I thought it was like a job in few I, I was. Where do you see yourself in five? I was thinking it was going to be like something horribly political or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, the Chinese lens manufacturers like Seven Arts and TTR Arts and Soryu. Um, what do you think they're going to be like in five years' time? I have no idea. I think they're going to be in exactly the same place as they are now. Yeah. People, people buy them as, as a, like, oh, uh, this is affordable. Then they'll crave for more expensive stuff. Yeah, we got a TTR Sans 35, yeah. which I gave to Michael, and it's, it's actually not a bad lens. They're all right, they're really quite decent. Yeah, uh, for the but, considering the price as well. Yeah. I mean, shocker, I couldn't believe how cheap it was. Mm. So, for the money, good value, but as you say, yeah, then you start, it's that gas, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Oh. I want more. And usually it would be like more of these manufacturers coming up to uh, of their lens and then some of them will die out because yeah. they're, they're like competing for the price. Yeah. Yeah, it's, com it's quite competitive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about the Hasselblad 503 CW star? Confused about the differences in models. Okay, so do you know about the star? Do you know about the star? What? Hasselblad. Um, so you, on the logo on the side, of Hasselblads, there'll be 500cm or 500c or 503 or whatever it is, right? And some of them have a star next to it, and that star, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that star is for the Japanese market. It's to denote that it was a Japanese market model. Oh. And back then, because they didn't have a, an official distributor, they didn't have Hasselblad in Japan, right? So they had to use third parties to bring them over. So they didn't want grey market, so they denoted it by having a star oh. on them. And um, Leica did the same thing. They had an SH tag which was stuck onto the top because the Signa, Sig, Signa Haber, I think it was, was their official distributor. So they had to denote that it was a camera from them. Now they have their own presence here, so they don't have to do any of that nonsense. I want to star my camera. I don't know why. <laughs> Just because it's a bit special. <laughs> I want to put a, put a sticker on it. Is there a premium on it? Oh, it's got a star on it. Um, yeah, for some people, yeah. Okay. Yeah, actually, yeah. Did, I, I guess we've missed a lot of questions, haven't we? 
No, it's because I just accidentally closed it and lost it. <laughs> <laughs> If you've just joined us, I'm here with Locke and Kai, and we're having a bit of a giggle and talking about cameras and stuff and photography. So if you've got questions and things, ask us and tell us. Nothing's popping up. Nothing's popping. Oh, it's because I closed the page. Like a dickhead. Um, love the book. Read all of those. For Kai, Hassel, we've already answered that. Hassel, is it worth buying an X-Pan in 2023? Oh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Oh, just love our friends. For everyday use, would you guys choose GR3 or GR3X? Um, um, yeah. I, 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 you know, for me, actually, I, I, I did like the GR3X for a minute because it was 40mm. Yeah. But for me, the GR, GR is always 28mm. And, and also, you know, it's a perfect focal length because everybody shoots on their phone and that's equivalent like 28mm on your iPhone. Mm. So that it, you get, you've gotten used to that focal length. You just have a little bit more a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably yeah, probably more useful. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. think I've ever even seen one of those cameras. No. <laughs> they all look the same though, so yeah. you know you can see one GR you digital see, and then it's all, it's all, all the same. Yeah. But, okay, favourite twenty eight M mount lens, twenty eight millimeter M mount, Leica or non Leica? Mm. Mm. No, no, Void Land Ultron is not bad. Yeah, it's not it's bad at all. Bad. I like the twenty eight mil Sunicron. Yeah, well, uh, well I'm, a, I'm a fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that too. <laughs> it's just I have a... access to it. So. It's... Uh, sure. <laughs> um, it's not mine. <laughs> it's not mine. I just like it. Yeah. What about you, 28? I don't know. Yeah. Any if, if it's, it's given to me, I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> not sounding partial or anything. <laughs> Any thoughts about lomography things? They're a big uh, company. Um, They're in a bit of a pickle at the like, moment. Well, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've just had a lot of their film range cut from them, so yeah. things aren't looking. You, you know, I, I think I. They're cool for keeping that film love alive. Yeah, no, that's but true. for se re selling plastic shit over like and over and over and over yeah, again, and um, overpriced. Coming up with a fancy name and fancy packaging. I That's think what gets me is the Kickstarter stuff. Like when they plainly got the money, they just yeah. Kickstarter anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, Kickstarter wasn't designed for that. You know, I, I mean, I kind of thought they were right when it was just uh, the LCA, then they got the yeah. Holger, yeah. and then. And then they, maybe Diana, okay, that's fine. But then it's like, oh, we've got the, I don't know, sardine tin or whatever they call it. Yeah. And then the lenses, and then, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, it gets a bit much. Ah, uh, what's your opinion about the future of dying film production like Fujifilm? What will the future be? You know anything about what's going on with Fujifilm? Uh, I don't know. So, Fujifilm actually stated very recently, uh, last week it was in fact, that they are now facing serious shortage of raw materials and therefore shortage of stocks of films, which is true because what they are actually Facing is a shortage of stock because they haven't been making films for the last so so many years. They're just right. selling off all of the remaining. So, um, do you think that's going to have an effect on the future? Of well, they're a big player, aren't they? Yeah, but yeah. they've become much smaller in the last few years, haven't they? You know, they've focused everything on this Instax and film, uh, Instax and digital. You know, yeah. so other companies are sort of stepping in to take their place. I think. I, I, it's death by a thousand cuts, right? Mm. I don't like it. I ru I'd rather they just say, okay, we're done. Right, okay, got you, cool. We'll go and work with other people. We'll go and help and deal with other people. I think that, for me, that would be the best way to do it. What, and then, and then Fuji Films out? Fuji Films out, and we know that they're out. Instead of constant press releases saying, we're cutting yeah. this, we're cutting this, we're cutting this, we're cutting this, you know. That would, or at least sell off your factories, please. Yeah. Sell your factories to somebody that can use them. I'm open. Hi. I mean, it's sad, but I guess we just have to keep shooting whatever we can. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, you no, know, everything will has, has a, a, you know, everything comes to an end. Deadline. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, and they realise that this is for them. That's their deadline. Yes. But uh, onto things uh, a bit nicer. Let's see. Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 that's not very nice. 
I'm not answering that. Goodness me. Uh, no difference, just market donation. Uh, uh, yeah, lots of people replying to all of your stuff uh, that you, we've already talked about. So, um, any plans to go anywhere? Where are you off to next? Where do you want to go? You, you mean in Japan? Or oh, no, no, travelling wise. Where do you want to go? Uh, if somebody out there on here is watching goes, I want Kyle kind of Lock. I want them to come here. Where do you want to go? I want to come back to Japan. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like them to come back to Japan. Yes. We, I think we should make a, a proper long video. Yeah. 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 Um, doing some camera shopping and stuff. What Us three travelling Japan <laughs> and tasting very, uh, some weird foods. Weird foods, yes. We, I'll let you do that bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd love to see I, that. I'll just be everywhere. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> What are your thoughts on the new M6? We talked yeah, about, we talked about that. that. We talked about that. I like it. I want one, but I'm not prepared mm. to pay the money. And Loika won't give me a discount. I, I, I'm. <laughs> you know what? Um, people probably hate it, but I, I never really liked the M6. Fair enough. That's a different opinion. I, I, I don't like the M4P, M42, the M6. Ooh. I like. That, that's when they started putting Leica and the red dot on. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It came, a, it became a bit emblazoned, didn't it? And um, it felt well. The M42, M4P, you know, that's like cheap, cheaper. They cheaped out on some materials, materials or whatever. Yeah, um, I did. maybe I'm affected by that. I mean, there's, there's no need to be. But <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's that interesting to me. The new M6. Yeah, yeah. Because. Cause, I mean MP, well, not necessarily this one, just the MP, that is a far better looking camera. I think so too. Um, I mean, if, I, so I want one of the new M6s just because I want one. Yeah. I don't need this at all, and I've actually got what I would consider with this a better camera. Yeah. So I'm going to stick with that, but there's no denying, I mean, wouldn't mind. And the reason I would like one is because it's got a brass top plane and I immediately go out that. and have it repainted. <laughs> <laughs> And well, I think maybe, and Leica would be furious with me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I probably won't be doing that because it's a little bit expensive. Do you want one lock? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gives it to him. <laughs> He's not going to buy it, is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Where is your favourite place to photograph? You guys have travelled a lot. I've travelled from. Oh, Hong Kong. I'm gonna say Hong Kong. Hong Kong is really well before it's nice and easy. Well before before it all uh, went a bit changed. Yeah, back, yeah. back Hong Kong about well, five years ago. <laughs> I mean the thing is, is it will still look the same. It will still, yeah, still smell the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's it. Can't well, catch it on a lot of shops are uh, closed because of COVID. Yeah, yeah. A, lot. a lot of places have shut it up. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, but I would, I'd love to photograph some places in Japan. Yeah. Rural yeah. Japan, yeah. yeah, more of sort of mm. out of Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. There's, uh, I think you should definitely come back and do a travel thing here. There's places to go which are just stunning. Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> go fund me. Michael's traveled like, I think, almost every prefecture? Missing two. Missing two, so wow. like, and yeah, incredible, incredible. He's, he's the man, he knows where everything is. But there's a lot of really beautiful things to see here. And it, you know, you've got Hokkaido at the top, which is like winter wonderland, and then yeah. Okinawa down the south, which is tropical paradise, yeah. and everything in between. So yeah. it's, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Come back, we'll do it. Yeah. This uh, Japan. Tour, tour, de, tour, tour de Japan. Tour de Japan. Or North Korea. So a friend of mine is. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine is actually doing a. a the Adam, the MasterChef guy I told you about, he is doing a. A culinary tour of Japan and what he does he gets people to join him on this tour and he takes them around Japan and he takes them on a culinary experience for a week and then, yeah we should do that we should do a photo tour of us yes. get people to come with us so they can for yeah, yeah, us yeah. <laughs> what like a we mean like a photo walk yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. except it's a uh, around Japan so it's a photo of travel a photo oh, tour you know, could do something like that. See some cool places. Thumbs up cool food. or whatever you do on Instagram. Hearts and likes. Hearts and, that's it. <laughs> hearts and likes and give Bellamy some direct love. <laughs> direct, hands on if possible. <laughs> the address is down below if you want to come and give Bellamy some hands on love. <laughs> hands on love.
<laughs> That's what she said. There's, there's enough space from the front door to line up to the desk over there. We can have a queue. Yeah. He's <laughs> happy. <laughs> the queue will be like the, the immigration of. Uh, oh, yeah, now we're getting smiley faces. Canada. Brilliant. We're getting yeah. smiley faces. <laughs> Kai's, Kai's awake now. Uh, do you think there's going to be an ever, ever be another medium format point and shoot besides the Fuji's? No, no. Well, no digital, yeah, probably. You know, they'll get round to it. Eventually. What do you think about them? The digital medium format mm. stuff. I think it's cool. Um, so I went to New York a few years back, and that was when they just released the X1 thingy, Hasselblad. I had a go on that, and it blew me away. Mm. I mean, it was amazing. Yeah, uh, it got pretty hot. <laughs> You know, and took a while to get the images and stuff. But um, but when you did get them, it was incredible. Mm. Um, it was an awful lot of money, and I was lucky that Hasselblad actually loaned it to me for the trip. Um, I wouldn't be able to afford to buy one, but I could Sold see up. the potential. <laughs> Sell that? No, 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 no. That's never leaving my cold hands. No, <laughs> not that. That's being buried with me. <laughs> I have to dig it up to get that. Um, I, I see potential for it, certainly, mm. but it's still very, very, very expensive. So. What about the, the fact that it's not quite the same dimension? It isn't, is yeah. it? No, it's not quite really medium format. Yeah. It's almost but not. Yeah. So, does it matter? No, not really. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, because you're basing it off an old format, aren't you? Yeah. You know, whereas with, it's mediumish. It's mediumish. Whereas if you've got a large enough sensor, you can pretty much do. 6x7, 6x6, mm. you know, because they're absolutely enormous images anyway. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be buying one, though, so. <laughs> hey, but Hasselblad, if you want to send me one, I can certainly test it. Address I mean, is down below. I've done it before, you know, we're cool, we're cool. Uh, <laughs> Lock, long time no see, that's from Jayesh Oh, he's using, he's using a Chinese English thing. Yeah. Long time no see. Long time no see. Long time no see. I use that. <laughs> Uh, uh, Bellamy said that uh, Locke should be called uh, Camera Uncle Roger. <laughs> camera, uh, camera Uncle Roger. <laughs> camera Uncle Roger. <laughs> <laughs> this camera is so weak. <laughs> <laughs> so Am I allowed happy. to do that? Is that cultural appropriation? I'm going to get into trouble for this. That's fine. You're practically <laughs> Japanese now. <laughs> yeah, practically am. I've been here long enough. Yeah, 16, 17 years now. Have you ditched your British passport? No. Because you can't. Um, so if I, you jump in the sea. Like so well, this is the thing. If I did decide to get a Japanese passport, I'd have to actually renounce my British citizenship because they don't oh, allow dual nationality right. here. So I'm not prepared to do that. No, you're not sure, like. Yeah, I'm okay. not prepared to do that. So you get um, the benefits of both. So I get the benefits of both, and I've got permanent residence, so I can just stay anyway for an indefinite amount of time. Yeah. My kids have got dual nationality because you can have it up until the age of 21. And then officially you're meant to make a choice, which nobody does. <laughs> Everybody just keeps both passports. Yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't have that luxury. Yeah. You can go back to the Oxfordshire Massive. <laughs> Banbury Massive. Banbury What's Massive. Up? All right, Banbury <laughs> Massive, bottle of water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Because when I, I I was brought up in Norwich, and yeah. I, I purposely put on because all the all the kids yeah oh so I would put it on right it yeah. wasn't my accent because I actually came I was raised in a different area from my brother and then we moved right oh so, okay so he picked up the local accent but I'd already got my uh, accent at that point so yeah I had to fake it yeah so I came pretty good at faking it yeah. you know when I moved to Birmingham for university and I was you're all bad you're all mate how's it going yeah let's go down the pub yeah. You know, you learn how to blend in. And I don't know why Brummies move their head like that as well. They do, yeah. right. So you, you learn the mannerisms. Um, and I don't know, it always, because I was moved around a lot, so it helped me just fit in. You can pick up an accent relatively quickly. Not all of them. I still can't do Glaswegian for shit. <laughs> yeah, that one's hard. What, you lived in Glasgow? No, I had well, a few mates. Go, I had a few mates and oh, I couldn't understand a word they were saying. <laughs> they just headbutt there. You don't need to learn the language. Yeah. You're good at headbutting. 
Norwich. So you have a Norwich. Norwich so you, right. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's local. Far <laughs> away. <laughs> and it's it's funny because when I think about it, I think about it now, it's like, oh, that accent is hideous. Yeah. Yeah. Why did why did I want to fit in? But I, you know, being like a Chinese boy in in Norwich at that time, yeah, I just wanted to fit in. Yeah, desperately. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I it's like watching a uh, hot fuzz. Oh, oh, really? You know, and you. Uh, where my mum lives, the village, you know, everybody's like, oh, you're right, oh, how's it going? You're right. <laughs> I remember, I worked in a pub. Are you sure they're not from China? <laughs> <laughs> I worked in a pub. My first job, when I was like 16, I worked in the pub, the local pub, and this guy comes in, he goes, <laughs> and he just goes, and I'm like, what? He goes, what's wrong with you, boy? And I'm like, what? What's he saying? Somebody comes up to me, as he said, pipe of London pride. What the fuck's wrong with you, boy? And I'm like, right, okay. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't understand it. And I'd lived in that village for like 10 yeah. years at that point, you know, I couldn't get it. So, yeah, you have a hard time with the accents uh, in England? Not yet. I mean, it's in, in, so, in so, Surrey. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, it's quite interesting in England now because there's there's a lot of different cultures. Yeah, yeah, uh, and yeah. you know people from uh, other countries in Europe. Yep. Yeah. And I, I, I was saying to Locke, is is must be quite uh, challenging, like if you call somebody up and, and it's like okay. But sometimes in in Fong it's di more difficult than in person. Yeah. But then uh, and, you know Locke also, uh, you know, I was saying you know it's, it's good. That's one good thing about England is that you know there's all these different cultures. Yeah. That you can blend, and you don't have to be speaking yeah. like the, the royal family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nobody speaks like that anymore. Well, yeah. some people do. But yeah, um, but they they constantly rig me in the office. So what, what was the one that uh, Jolly Rancher? Jolly Rancher, and and oh, good God! <laughs> <laughs> like, apparently, I say that. <laughs> God. <laughs> so they're because they're both Americans, so they're constantly ripping me. Like, oh, oh, would you like some water? <laughs> <laughs> um, right, 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 right. So sticky toffee pudding. Okay, what? yeah. Somebody said sticky toffee toffee pudding. Uh, well, all my favourite people here, Kai and Locke. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's his show. It's his thanks. Instagram. Thanks a thanks a lot. <laughs> What moderate cheap film camera do you think will have a cult following in the future and be much more expensive? Yes, just just, just because, because of him. <laughs> what? and him and me. And, oh, sorry, we've already done it. We've ruined it for everybody. Now we should make this a cult favorite. Yes, make this one a everybody. cult favorite. Everybody, go and buy a Konica Eyeborg. Make this god. And a Darth Vader mask. You have to wear that. Yeah. As well. uh, do you own any Franken cameras? DIY modification. Hello from Singapore. Do you own any Franken cameras? No, I don't. No. I don't. Oh, well, no, I do, but I'm not going to show it to you because it's an abomination of man and it should be burned. The only Franken camera we did was the left hand of camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Made with pumpkin and the condom. <laughs> that sounds fun. Um, <laughs> anything with condom is always going to be fun. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about that. That's, that's wide open. Us, that's us, what. Us, us. Well, I don't want to talk about wide open. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> if you had to pick one, 35 mil and one, one, one twenty millimeter. It's not one twenty millimeter, is it? Now then, if you had to pick one, 35 or 120, what would it be? 35. Or oh, camera. Yeah, oh, no, like oh, film oh, format. Oh, yeah, format. Yeah, yeah, 35. Me. Medium oh, format. he's put one one twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too much, too much faffing for me. It will be thirty five. Yeah, thirty five. Much less Easy. faffing. Uh, right, right, right. I think we're pretty much going to run out of time soon because we've already eaten through like two memory cards. I'm hungry, and, stuff. and they're hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to feed them. So, um, everybody, thank you. Thank you to these guys for coming. It was brilliant. We are actually going to post this on YouTube later, so you can come and watch it again. And, and revel in our glory. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know which camera to look at. <laughs> make, make sure you go and check out their YouTubes, go and buy some Bokeh Bros uh, merch because they've got it. Come and buy some of our merch as well, buy Kai's book. You should get this t-shirt. Get get the Shunga, <laughs> Kai's got it. Kai's got it. Get the Shunga t-shirt. Heartily endorsed by Kai. Yes, get the Shunga t-shirt, we've got that. Everything's on the link tree. 
Hey. Hey. <laughs> Everything's on the link tree in the bio. Thank you everybody for watching. It was a blast. I had a lot of fun. Loved you all, and we'll see you again sometime. Let's do something again soon. Ting, ting. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.